There are tons of different gear you can invest in as a musician, and it is always fun to do so. Is it always necessary? Probably not. But we still tend to justify buying yet another guitar, effect pedal, cymbal, amplifier and whatnot by saying this will definitely improve my playing, my performance or make me a better musician until we find the next guitar that we really, really need. But there is one single piece of gear that in my opinion will make you a much, much better musician instantly regardless of the instrument you play. Let me explain. Hey guys, what's going on? So the gear that I'm talking about are in-ear monitors. You've all probably seen these weird looking headphones in the ears of musicians playing on stage sometimes. Most likely bigger and more famous bands playing big shows on huge stages. Which is also why most musicians might think that such in-ear monitors uh, aren't really suitable for smaller venues or even smaller bands. And I must say for a long time I thought the same. So playing in a band and performing live with other people is all about playing tight together. And if you've ever played live on stage before, you know that the sound on stage is really bad to say the least. <laughs> can be really hard sometimes to hear what the other musicians are playing and sometimes even yourself. That's why even in the smallest venues or also in decently equipped rehearsal rooms you have these stage monitors uh, on the floor right in front of you uh, facing up towards you. There you can have an individual mix of your own instrument and all your fellow bandmates. So the three biggest problems that you have with that is that you have to insanely crank up the sound on all the monitors in order to hear what's going on, which really serves more as a rough orientation of what's going on and what you're all playing compared to not having any monitors at all. But it still always sounds really muddy and just bad. Secondly, because of the high volume that's created on stage, you have a very high risk of feedback. That's when the guitar or the microphone picks up the sound that's coming out of the speaker. And thirdly, and most importantly, I think, uh, you're trying to actually make a show. Uh, so in order to do that, you like to move around on stage. Maybe you go to the drummer or switch places with the other guitarist or so. And as soon as you walk away from your personal stage monitor you cannot hear it anymore so you basically tie to this spot right in front of your monitor <laughs> As I mentioned, I played like this myself for many, many years. Of course, if you don't know anything different, then you take it as a given and say, yeah, this is how to play live. This is how it sounds like, and this is how it's supposed to be. So let me tell you why I think in-ears are so important and so good and how I finally got into using them. As you know, I play multiple instruments, so I've not only played live as a guitarist, but also as a drummer for different bands. And since the drummer is giving the tempo to the band, it is much more common actually uh, in the drummer world to play with in-ears, because you have to uh, be able to play to a metronome. So that was actually my only reason back then uh, to even take a look into this uh, in-ear world. Because as I said, uh, if you've never experienced good stage sound, then you don't even feel the need to improve anything. So I bought my first set of really cheap in-ears and a cheap mini mixer so I could connect my metronome to it and hear the click while I was playing. I only had the click on my ear and continued working with the stage monitors right next to me on every show. Until at one concert the sound guy asked me, hey, why do you want the monitor mix on the stage monitor if you're using in-ears? Should I just send you the signal? to your mini mixer and I was like yeah okay let's let's try it out why not and it was really an epiphany for me 
for the very first time I was able to hear the entire band as clear as on a CD basically. And it also was very noticeable after the concert uh, because the volume didn't have to be cranked up as much as usual. So yeah, naturally after that experience I never wanted to play with the stage monitor ever again. The thing is, as a drummer, it's relatively simple. You get your in-ears, a mixer, and that's basically it. You're not moving around, uh, and so therefore that's a simple and affordable setup. But when playing guitar live, I needed some wireless system so I could move around. Luckily, nowadays you can get some entry-level wireless systems for around 150 bucks already. The downside with these cheaper in-ears with the silicone tip is though that they can pop out of your ears when you're moving too much on stage, so you've got to be careful with that. That's why at some point I decided to get some custom molded in-ear monitors like these that I got from a company called Nature Ears. And true, these are a bit more on the expensive side, but they are worth every single penny and I truly believe that these were one of the best investments that I did in the past few years. So besides the better sound on stage and actually hearing what's going on aspect, which on its own will improve your performance so much because you simply play with much more confidence and you know that you're playing tight. In-ear monitors have many other benefits that can drastically improve your show and push your band to a whole nother level. For example, as I said, you can play with a click track or actually only the drummer needs the click on his ears and I truly believe that this alone makes a huge difference. And sure, some purists out there might say you should not play with the click and you have to feel the music and while that's true, it is also true that your perception of timing can be immensely off when playing live. Sometimes it's because of the adrenaline or all kinds of other factors but you play a show live and you think to yourself, wow, this was a perfect performance. Then you watch a video of the show afterwards and realize you were playing all the songs way too fast and that happens all the time. That's for example why we use the click especially for the very slow and atmospheric songs because playing such a song too fast destroys the entire atmosphere. Another thing that you can do with in-ears is for example samples. If your songs have samples in them then you can use them live only if the tempo matches perfectly to the samples. There are really no boundaries to your creativity. You can push it as far as your imagination goes and you can not only use samples, you can even take it as far as programming entire light shows to your click tracks. You can send the click to all the musicians on stage and theoretically even start the songs without counting in. So yeah, the, the possibilities are endless. What I also did sometimes as a session musician when there was very little time to prepare the songs uh, was that I recorded a separate talking track along my click tracks where I could tell myself whenever there was a change coming up or a fill or something like that. So that way it was guaranteed that I could never play wrong. I mean, you can do everything that you want with it since you are the only one who can hear it. So the possibilities are endless and just alone the confidence that you get by hearing yourself better while playing will make you a much better performer instantly. The difference with these custom molded in-ear monitors is that they are of course custom fitted to your ears. So these fit perfectly to my ears and my ears only and there's absolutely no chance that they can pop out no matter how much I move. That's why they cancel out noise from outside much better than other headphones or just earplugs. The sound they have is also very different from regular in-ear headphones. Regular in-ears have basically one tiny speaker inside that makes all the sound and that's it. With these more professional custom in-ears you have multiple drivers they are called and the amount of drivers depends on the needs you have and the instrument and music style you play. You can think of these drivers as speakers from a very high-end stereo system. One driver or speaker is for the highs, one for the mids and one for the bass. Mine for example have four drivers in them, one for highs, one for mids and two for bass because I need something with more low-end for my purposes. And of course customization. 
every set of in-ears is a one of a kind so since they are completely handmade you can get them as customized as you want. The tricky part of course is that they need an imprint of your ears in order to make them fit precisely to your ear. Luckily for me Nature Ears is based around two and a half hours away from where I live so I was able to drive out there and have them take the imprints directly but you can also go to any hearing care professional in your town get your imprints there for around 15 bucks or so and send them in it's really that simple the reason why i chose nature ears for my in-ear monitors is that i really like their concept they are a really environmental friendly small company from germany uh, so for every in-ear you buy, for example, they plant 10 trees, which is a good deal for everyone, I think. The quality is really good and the customer service is one of the best I've experienced so far. So for example, you tell them what you're looking for in the in-ears that you want to buy, what instrument you play, what kind of music you play, and then they send you a few of their in-ears to try out yourself for free. I mean, that's so cool and also that makes so much sense because that way you know exactly what to expect before you buy them. And what I also really like is that there are no hidden costs. So the price for every in-ear is always the same regardless of how crazy you want the design to look like. I've seen, for example, that other companies charge extra for different colors, materials, logos and all that. And here you even get a nice metal case and everything you basically need to clean your in your monitors for free. Everything is 100% handmade and therefore you can have every little detail customized just the way you like and need it. And I didn't get paid by Nature Ears for making this video and I did pay for these in-ears myself, though I admittedly got a discount for them, which actually brings me to my last point, a discount for all of you guys. I really love these new in-ears and I'm very satisfied with Nature Ears. And I think you know, well, I hope you know that I really just recommend brands and gear to you that I can support 100%. That's why I asked uh, Nature Ears uh, for a discount code for 15% off for any order you make there. I don't get a commission or anything for that. Uh, this is just a way for me to share this with this community and that way maybe give something to you guys. So if you're in the market to get a new pair of in-ear monitors, Check out Nature Ears and use the code Lucantrop15 for 15% off. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye guys.